Hey, Arm, I got a package in the mail. I think it's my VHS uh, Ninja set, so let's see. Only every couple months I can buy like a larger package off eBay. So I can't do it every month. I'm not sure where my scissors went. I think I put them down here. Music or something. Yes, people. It's Sega. People, Sega. I got it. And yes, now I got a Sega. Sega. I needed Sega because of uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. It's got only one game in it, I think. Maybe all the connections. And that is the original power. I would always want to buy it with the original power, and then after I could buy the reproduction power, in case it doesn't work properly on the new TV. One game with it, so uh, Sega costed me 100, about 140 bucks with shipping, so that is an old cartridge, I thought that would be a lot. A little bit more uh, shorter, but Sega, I guess they have different types of cartridges. So probably next year, I may bring a little bit more Sega stuff. Not a whole lot, that you know, it's got the original adapter. A lot cheaper than Atari. That's the system. You can buy this system alone for about. 60 bucks or so, and then just add the controller and add the a newer power. I want the original first, so like all this package has. Roughly about 150, even up to 200 on eBay. So I got a couple of this is me back at least about hundred dollars. But the extra GST I'll be able to uh, even out. So, I'll add at least a couple of Sega games because there's a couple that I do want over the next while, spring, summer, into next year. And then next year, I'll just add like, a couple of here and there for Sega and get the older console, like Atari. A little bit more games on that. A little bit more for NES, and then that's going to be my game collection complete with uh, Sega. I never had this when I was younger, but some friends have, so I never got to play anything on Sega. We had Atari, so we had that. So this one is a golf one. I'll get some sports games if they're not too expensive. I think they cost more for Atari and NDS for sports games, so we'll take a look around and look, see how much things cost. If I get something affordable for Sega for games, I'll pick it up. I definitely wanted the original. This ain't the first one. First one's like a longer one, but it's good enough for me. Plus, I really love Sega, so I started playing it on uh, PC with the USB controller, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to try to buy it if I get enough money for it. Luckily, I seen it listed for under a hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks. So, with shipping, it's about hundred fifty bucks. So, if you get it for around a hundred, hundred twenty bucks, hundred thirty bucks, then definitely pick it up. I always look for the original uh, controller because I know it's at least 50 bucks on eBay. Plus, you, sometimes you only get one controller, lucky I have two. Plus, I think Sega has a joystick paddle as well. I don't know if they have Pac Man for Sega or not, but I'll have to look at the games more carefully now. But I do have it in my collection. 
the only one more old system that I would want is probably ColecoVision. I don't care about the 3D games they come out with. 3D Nintendo, 3D Sony and all that stuff. I don't play those games, so I like the old fashioned ones. Unless if I see it thrifting for 10, 20 bucks, then I'll pick it up, but not off eBay. If you pay an arm and a leg. People don't always include the shipping, I do, and I include the highest seller, so that's how I determine the value. Because uh, usually, if you add more stuff into it, more controllers, more games, they price it up to 200 bucks, so been keeping an eye for the Sega system for a while and it finally came to uh, my price range so I saved at least 40 bucks instead of paying almost 200 bucks for it got a pretty decent deal about 150 bucks so you could probably get it cheaper with less parts but if you want the proper power then you're gonna have to pay up the proper connections you're gonna have to pay up on those if you want to buy them individually eventually I would do that just buy the system and then buy the added parts to it after when I do have the money just in case if I'm low on funding but it was in my price range so I'm a little bit low this month because of this but I'll even out next month so Sometimes you have to borrow a little bit if you can. Best way to do is borrow from family. Don't go to a bank and borrow 100, 200 bucks there because you pay a lot more back. So unless you have a crappy family that won't lend you any money, then you're stuck that way. Sometimes you can get a good deal on eBay, and later on it'll be more expensive. So it's a PG A golf. Only new game that came with this set. Thanks for watching. Only got Sega, but they got a couple things on the way. Thinking it might be that, but glad to have the system now. Just maybe try to get uh, ColecoVision, and then that'll complete my gaming collection. I think maybe some handhelds like the old. Play Paperboy and stuff like that, whatever. But I never really had handhelds either, so I got to get the Sega. It looks pretty fair, pretty clean. Sometimes they can be really dirty. Sega. Where is it made? Probably in China. Made in Taiwan. Huh. Not everything is made in China. Thanks for watching.